So let's really put the acetylide ion to work. And let's look at an example problem that looks something like this, where it gives us an alkyne, and this is our starting reagent, and we want to end up with a ketone as our product. Not only do we want to end up with a ketone as our product, but if you take a look at the longest carbon chain, we go from one, two, three, four carbons in total to one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in total. So not only do we have to figure out how to put a ketone on the organic, but we also have to figure out how to elongate the chain by at least two more carbons. So this is what we call a multi-synthesis step. So multi-synthesis. And this basically means that it's going to take more than one step in order to get to this product. Now, again, the beauty of organic, but the headache of organic, is that there's many different routes in order to get to this point. And no one route is better than another when it concerns a test question if they're not specific. Meaning that if this is the way the question is presented, how can we go from here to here based on a series of reagents as long as the series of reagents work and as long as you put them in the right order then if everything makes sense you get full credit for the problem. So let's figure out really uh, in baby steps what to do first and how to do it. So again let's look at the number of carbons. We have one, two, three, and four and then with the ketone group I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this means we need to add two additional carbons onto our molecule. So we need to elongate the chain. And the only way that we know how to elongate the chain right now is to use the acetylide ion in order to do so. So let's come down here below and let's rewrite this structure, CH3, CH2, C, triple bond, CH, and we need to prepare this for chain elongation. And the way that we do it, again, is to use sodium amide, NaNH2. And when we do that, this turns into a CH3, CH2, C, triple bond, C. This hydrogen has been removed, and what we end up with is a negative anion. So this is our acetylide ion that we can now use in the chain elongation process. So I'm going to come down below and just rewrite it. C triple bond C with a negative. And now we need to add something to it in order to elongate the chain. Well I've already said up here at the top that we need to include two more hydrogens into the picture. So the only way that I know how to elongate the chain is to use an acetylide ion and an alkyl halide. And whatever halide you want to use is fine. Typically you see bromine, but chlorine could be there as well. But CH2, CH3, Br would work. So here I have the acetylide ion and here I have the alkyl bromide and these two things are going to react together and they're going to elongate the chain. Again, if I rewrite CH3, CH2, carbon, C, triple bond, C, and now this carbon that has the negative charge on it hooks up with this carbon that's attached to our halogen. And when that happens, we end up with CH2 and CH3. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in total, and that's what we need with our product from up here above. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons in total. If we needed to add on a seventh, this would be CH3, CH2, CH2Br. If we need to add on eight, then this would be CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2Br. 
So again, you just add in whatever kind of alkyl group that you need here in order to elongate the chain because it's that piece that gets added on. But we're not yet finished. The only thing that we've done at this point is elongate the chain. We have not really converted it into a ketone structure yet. So once I do this, once I add the NaNH2 to get the acetylide, and once I add the CH3CH2Br in order to elongate the chain, I now need to come around and figure out how I could incorporate that ketone group. So I need to figure out a reagent to use to get the C double bond O on there. Well, I know that the C double bond O comes from an enol. And the enol comes from the addition of an alcohol. So I need to add on an OH. However you want to add on the OH, it's perfectly fine because anything will work. So some type of acid and water will work. The mercury version will work. So any choice that you've got to put on an OH, be my guest and use it because that will put the OH group on there. So when I see the H and the water, what happens is that I'm just going to rewrite the reagent here. CH3, CH2, carbon, triple bond, carbon, CH2, CH3. What happens is that the water and the acid target the triple bond, changes it to a double, and two sites of attachment open up here and here. H goes on the carbon with the most H's. Well, it doesn't really matter here because they're both tied equally. This carbon doesn't have any hydrogens and that carbon doesn't have any hydrogens. So H gets added on and OH gets added on to the other. Well, that forms an enol. And we said that enols are going to rearrange and they rearrange into a carbonyl force. So what was a double bond here gets turned into a single bond. This carbon to OH turns into a carbon double bond. The hydrogen that was here on the alcohol goes to the neighbor. So this ends up with two hydrogens now, not just one. And then we finish up the chain. So the final answer looks a little bit different than what we actually want up here at the top. Uh, however, be careful because this is the third carbon in. I see a carbonyl group. And then down here at the bottom, well, it's just from the opposite end. The third carbon in, one, two, three, I see a carbonyl group. And my longest carbon chain is six. So even though it looks different, we've drawn it different, it's actually the same molecule. If I come up here and name this using the common nomenclature system like we've talked about before, well, I would name the group to the left, and I would name the group to the right, and I would put ketone in the name. So I would put them in alphabetical order. So this is ethyl, propyl, ketone. And just to prove that this is the same molecule down here below, I would name the group on the left, and I would name the group on the right, and I would add the word ketone to represent this carbonyl, and I'd write it in alphabetical order. So this is ethyl propyl ketone. So they are the same molecule, even though they look slightly different on a sheet of paper. So the answer. If this was given on a test and it would say starting from this reagent how could you make this product what you would do is that you would either show the steps like this in detail or you could come down here below and say well in step one I would add NaNH2 then once the acetylide ion forms I would add ethyl bromide then once that happens, I would add acid and water, and that rearranges into the enol for me automatically. So this is a three-step process. So three reagents, 
goes through the reaction process in order to give me this final answer.